Hi guys, uh, today uh, I make a video about a uh, game park, uh, well actually it's it's a canoe made by Game Park Holding. Uh, probably you saw already a couple of videos, I did uh, some modification for that system. And today I'd like to show you some uh, new modification what I done. Actually, I really like that canoe, how it may, uh, how they designed the system and how it performs uh, for old school emulators. But a few weeks ago, my uh, analog joystick gave up, and pretty much, here's the original one, here's the original knob, and here's the switch itself, analog, analog uh, stick switch, what it's called. And pretty much, it's pretty, it's so small and tiny, almost, uh, well, I tried to find it on the internet, anyone uh, who make that switch to order a replacement one and was no luck here's a from PSP 2000 here's from GameCube and actually when my uh, analog switch give up I tried figure out what that's gonna do before I toss it in the garbage that uh, canoe because like I said I mean to order it uh, uh, parts for that canoe Pretty much you are a lock and you have to do something and I even pull it out uh, analog stick from PlayStation 2 uh, remote I mean joystick and even bigger than than uh, uh, GameCube slightly taller which GameCube was not option what I did I use it from PSP uh, actually this one is from PSP 2000 I use it from PSP 1000 which is pretty much same size but it doesn't have those connectors on the side I mean uh, I mean uh, over here it connects conne it has connectors on the back plate anyway here's the system a few days later uh, what I did I uh, rebore it I mean I bore it out a bigger hole and from white plastic probably you can see it's a little bit different color I didn't find it same color as the original one. I make it adapter, uh, which it fits in perfectly. I'm actually I'm quite proud how how it feel uh, how it fits. And I mean, works really nice, even better than uh, than original one. It registered key. I mean, pretty good every movement. Let me show you some picture what I done. Here's the housing, when, uh, when you disassemble it, that's how it looks. You can see that uh, insert, and I, tri I cut it, uh, because the switch was so big, even after, we, after you trim it, those bunny ears, you ca I cut it, and trim it a little bit all around, to make sure it fit. But still, I mean, the kind of doesn't have too much room, you have to cut it extra plastic off which you're not gonna use it anyway and you can see on that picture that adapter then you see how how switch it fits and actually if you cut it precisely pretty close to what I did you don't have to use any glue or epoxy the switch analog uh, switch will stay in uh, here's how, how I mean when, when it's a uh, I wire it only for four, four wire using. Of course, that um, analog stick doesn't have click in. I mean, uh, you know, like original one, you can push it in and it will click. Will do extra one extra function. Which to be honest, I never used that before. Well, actually, I did on uh, Duke Nakam. I I I, I mean, uh, I set it a uh, function, but mostly emulators doesn't use that uh, function. Yeah pretty much I'm not really give it, uh, care too much and here's how it looks without uh, adapter actually well the reflection you see the plastic fits I mean pretty nice and actually it works it works pretty good um, I mean let's see let me get in the uh, setup then uh, test mode Oh crap, actually I have to push it two buttons at the same time. Okay, now we are on that screen and you will see 
it, it registrates pretty good. Yeah. I mean, I should. I mean, the original one, one thing when it start feeling, when they, when they start coming a little bit loose inside, why, why it start, start goofing around? Because the switch is pretty small, the knob is big and heavy. And pretty much when you push it, for, for example, when you pull it to, uh, towards one side, and actually when you tested your cannon for analog uh, function, if you push it one side and release it really quick, and if you see it will register it opposite key, that means the switch is start failing. Yeah. Because because the nap is so is so heavy when you when you push it and let go, by by weight it will it will go too far and register it another movement. Actually, that switch I like it. I mean pretty good. Next time or next uh can if uh my joystick is gonna fail. Probably is gonna do a D-pad modification instead. Analog, I'm just gonna put it a D-pad. But all around, actually, like I said, I mean, I'm really proud how it feel. It fit. No extra gaps. If you look at that factory insert plastic, my gaps actually is pretty close to to what factory did. And I did pull joke uh, on a couple of my friends. I tell them it's a it's a can of prototype which they did believe it's in the first place but then said no it's a joke <laughs> well anyway uh, i hope you guys like it and thank you so much and have a great day bye bye